Today I want to talk about the protocol for divine help. 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 So I want to talk about waiting, waiting, wait, waiting as the protocol for divine help. So pay attention to me and listen. Waiting as the protocol for divine help. Psalm 121, let's look at verse 1 down. And then after that, we'll look at Psalm 122 from verse 1. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. There is help, but one has to lift up the eyes. Next verse. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I want to announce to somebody in this church today that God is the helper. I have seen people helped by God. I am one of those helped by God. There are many things I may not have the authority or I may not be an authority in talking about them. But there is just one thing that I can claim authority. There is a discipline, there is an area, there is a field of studies in life that I can claim to be an authority. That field of studies is the field of God's help. I am an authority in the study, in the field of the study, or the field of study of divine help. I have been helped by God. In GFCC oral, last week I made some testimonies and declarations in front of them. I told them that there are few graces among many graces that I have enjoyed in this call. Number one, I have enjoyed the help of God. It is undeniable. But those who love me and those who hate me, those who accept me and those who reject me, they will agree in one point. This is a boy helped by God. This is a boy. I don't agree with him. I don't like him. I am not part of him. But you, witches and wizards, they know this. The people of the underworld, they know this. Those who see in God and from God, they know this. I have been helped by God. So I have authority to talk to you about God's help. I am a witness of God's help. Now and again, I have to remind myself that I'm not normal. The life I enjoy, the privilege of seeing life taking place and having a voice that cannot be silent. It's not as a result of my ingenuity, my, my faithfulness in prayer, in holiness, in fasting, in sowing, and all the extraordinariness that defines the extraordinary. None of that. The only thing I can trace it to that I have a voice. A voice that cannot be ignored. That I have a life. A life that cannot be set aside. That I have a story. A story that will always remain relevant. The only reason is because I have enjoyed the help of the helper. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that if you have been helped by God, that again you will be helped by God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that if you have never been helped by God, that you will know what it means to be helped by God. I pray in the name of Jesus that no matter your level of experience and whatever you go through, that you will walk this season into the pool of God's help and come out as one who has been helped by God in the name of Jesus Christ.
Amen. Be seated. This is very passionate. God didn't permit me to prepare for a teaching. As a minister, sometimes you are, you are not allowed to prepare to teach. Because it's the day I will have loved to teach. So I'm just allowed to come and share with you. So I'm not given many things to talk about. Just want to talk about one or two things and maybe we stand to pray and cry to God. And say, give us help against the issues of life. Give us help against the contenders against destiny. Give us help against those who are standing in the next door of our life. For the help of man is useless. Please look at Psalm chapter 60 and verse 11. Don't forget that any man who has ever helped you, helped you because God helped you. People have killed a lot of people and they didn't become anything. People have done extraordinary things but became nothing. If you have been helped, and somebody helps you, somebody favors you, it's because God helped you. And if you will ever be helped, if you hope that there will be help, please don't trust me, I cannot help you. I said it in the first assembly, if all you know is to look for me, to trust me, to depend on me, I want to tell you for free, you will die soon. And it may be tomorrow you will die, if not this night. Why? I cannot help you to keep you alive for one day. If all you know in this life is me as the source of your help, please, I pity you. I guarantee you, you will fail because I will not be able to help you. Give us help. Give me this in NIV. Give me this. NIV brings the sense more. They give us aid. Give us help against the enemy. The enemy has multiple heads. Natural, spiritual, supernatural physical for the help completed for the help of man is what worthless i first met this scripture around 2016 in ministry and what a time it was between 215 and 216 and it was real the help of man is useless please no matter who is helping you Make sure you go back to Psalm 121. Let your eyes be lifted to the hills. Please, while you honor the person who has helped you, while you are faithful to the person who helps you, while you are grateful, and that is correct, that is demanded, that is true, while you are grateful to whoever is helping you, just know that help comes from above. And it is beyond that person. Hills. When the scripture talks about the hills, it's talking about the height that is above man. So no man is as tall as a hill. No man is as tall as a mountain. When the scripture is talking about hills, it's not even talking about any hill you have seen in your village. It's referring to the hills around Jerusalem. For as mountains surround Jerusalem, as hills surround Jerusalem, so the Lord God surrounds his people. That, this scripture was written in Israel. The people who are familiar with the reality of Mount elevated heights. Elevated places, heights, and mountains. My help shall come from the Lord. Verse 22. Verse 2. Look at verse 2. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Look at Psalm 122. Let's look at 1 and 2. Verses 1 and 2. I was glad when Psalm 123. It should be Psalm 123, sorry. Psalm 123. That's correct. Psalm 1, 2, 3. Unto you I lift up my eyes. Did you hear that? The two scriptures talk about up. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up means above me. Above my knowledge. Above my wisdom. Above my connection. Above my medical help. Above my financial help. Above my investment. Above my political help. Above my professional help. Above my spiritual help. Above my father in the Lord. Above my church. Above, sir. The church is just a little level. There is one who is above. That until he gives help, church cannot help. Sir, there is one that every man of God serves under. And when you are to receive help from that place, your eyes has to be above the man of God. Because help shall come from above. Look at that scripture. Unto you I lift up my eyes. Oh, you who dwell. Where? 
The word heavens refers to the height. Heart, heaven means height. Higher places. Higher places. Next verse, verse 2. Come on. Behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of a mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has shown us mercy. Keep that scripture there with me. See what the scripture is saying is this. Let the eyes of servants look to the hand of their masters. The eyes of servants who don't know you, let them look to their masters. And let the eyes of the mates, the female servants, let them look at their mistresses. Let the world trust in their power. Let those who serve Satan, let them trust in their Satan. Let those who serve their demons, let them trust in their demons. Let those who serve their strength, let them trust in their strength. But as for me, as for me, my eyes, so comparing me to others, let them look to their sources. I already know what my source is. I have a master here. I have a mistress here. I have a friend here. I have a brother here. But my eyes will not be there. Yes, the day God wants to bless you, he will put compassion in the heart of somebody. But your eyes is not there. I don't know what I'm talking to somebody. Yes, the day God wants to interpret the dream of Pharaoh, he will send Joseph. But the eyes not there. But yes, the day that the prisoners in the, in the prison will have dreams that need interpretation, there will be a Joseph that will interpret one favorable, one unfavorable. But my eyes will not be there. Yes, on the day that my son rises against me, the counsel of Ahitophel will become a lie. But my eyes will not be there. This is a statement of faith. A statement of dependence. A statement of trust. So this is a season of trust. I have mentioned to you, and I said it in the previous assembly, I want to say this. So since we started this call, by the grace of God, there is a man that God brought into my ministry life. Reverend Joe Olaya, very humble, very solid man, solid in family, solid in humility and modesty. Solid in purity, solid in, in integrity. But he understands my relationship with him. I took a decision when I answered this call to take this risk of being helped by God. That what God will not allow me, will not help me do, will never be done. That I will never use the name of any man to gather a crowd. When people take decisions like that, when people reach a point in life, they look for who? Whose face will draw people? Whose name will bring people? Whose coming will attract people? I made a covenant with God. See, if you don't help me, I'll be glad to fail. And as long as I live, I will tell somebody that I trusted God and God did not help me. That's what I told God. That I will live to tell the story. That if you don't help me, then there will be no man I will trust. So people suggested, can we do this for you? Can you do this for you? Somebody sits in this place that was in a meeting that the man said, you know, you need some people. You need some people to be in your circle so that when people hear that there are some people who are with you, when people see that certain people are with you, they will say, oh, if so-so and so-so people are with him, that means the foundation is good. That means maybe we can also join. And that was the last of that meeting. And I lift up my hands to God and said, if you... If when you called me, there was a man who made the call authentic. <laughs> if when you called me, there was a man who made it complete, then let it be so. But if there was none, and if it depend on, they depended on you telling me, if I am the one calling you, I will give you everything you need. Oh, everything? Does everything depend? Does everything include everything? Oh yeah, let's go. Let me try. Until today. So far, my help comes from the Lord. The day will come when we have the release, when we bring mighty men of God to this assembly and use faces of people to let people know who is coming. But the motive will not be to gather because we have been gathered by the Spirit of God. Glory to God. I want you to rise and do yourself a favor. Rise and clap those hands to the helper. Rise and celebrate the helper. Come on, go ahead. Rise and celebrate the helper. Rise 
and celebrate the helper. Come on, come on, come on, come on, rise. Clap those hands and beat it up. Make it hurt him. Let it hurt you as you give a shout to the helper of GFCC. To the helper of Grace Family. To the helper of the Work Family. To the helper of the Boy Call Patrick. Give a shout and celebrate your helper. If my helper is your helper. Be seated. Once in a while, my Apple photograph, Apple photo album, will just throw pictures at you day by day and give you memory. Yesterday night, before I went to bed, I just sent my iPhone a pop-up showing us around this time, May 2021. May 2021. This place was a different place. I saw some photograph. One of the photographs I saw was Otomo. And I'm, I'm happy to see him in the assembly today. A boy that was always available and to resume at the first thing in the morning and to close late in the night. I saw chief. I saw a couple of people. It happens to be a day we laid foundation for the children's church. And that was crazy. We just started this. We didn't start with money. We started with 150,000 naira in our account. And why don't you wait until you finish it before you do another thing? The crazy boy again who trusted that God who said he will give me everything will not lie. He said, let's lay foundation for children's church. How can we be building for adults? The children suffered enough in Ibom Hall. They, we didn't have space for them. Let's challenge God. Let's see whether God can do this. And what a stupid idea <laughs> but glory, that glorified the Almighty. That's what my photo, my photo memory popped up and showed to me. And I just looked at it and said, how faithful is the Lord? 2021 was a year after the pandemic. In many parts of the world, lockdown had not been, has not been relaxed. The economy was terrible. Things were terrible. Churches had shut down. Many, the, maybe, the businesses had, had shut down and all of that. And I saw that God was helping us. And we are here. Our children are behind us. It's not yet completed. That's true. You and I, you know. But it is something. Our children of different ages. Three different churches are going on behind us. Three different churches or three different categories are going on. Pastors are ministering there. Ministers are many. And our children are having their expression. That is called God's help. God's help. Who knows what God wants to do next? That's the question. Who knows what God wants to do? Because the problem is this. Once you have been helped, you think that is the end. So if you don't humble yourself, you lose what God wants to do next. Me, I will not lose it. I am hungry for more. Because I have not started it. You know I have not started, right? not started. So people have been inviting me, come to this place, come to this place. I said, I'm a little boy. How do you call an infant to come and sit down with grandfathers? I'm too young to go and associate with those who have been established and are mighty. How can, how dare you? I used to be a Catholic priest and I'm no longer one. I am a few years old in trying to know what God wants me to do. Leave me alone. Let me try to know what God wants me to do. Sir, I'm a boy. One day I will become a man. But I want to grow. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will help you again. Yeah. Sir, I told you God didn't prepare me to teach. When I'm about teaching, you will give me revelation and give me outline today. I just said, what is it? God just wants me to pray over you. God just wants me to speak over you. Will you rise to your feet? Can you say, Lord, send help again upon GFCC. Send, send help, help again, again as, as we gather. gather as, as we gather. gather. Send, send help again, again as, as we gather. gather. Lord, Lord, send, send help, help again. again as we gather. Please, Lord, send help. Lord, send help again. Lord, send help. We have seen help before. Lord, send help. Send another wave of help. Lord, send another wave of help. Papa, please, another wave of help. Daddy, another wave of help. Oh, another wave of help. Lord, another wave of help. Lord, another wave of help. Papa, please, we are hungry. We are hungry for another wave of help. Yes, we have been helped. Yes, we are being helped. 
but Lord, our eyes are unto you. There, there are, are people, people looking on to their mistresses. There, there are, are people, people looking on to their masters. There, there are, are people, people looking on to their political godfathers. There, there are people looking up to their mentors. But GFCC, our eyes are unto you. Sir, you are our, our, our mistress. Daddy, you are our master. You are the hills from whence our help will come. If you don't help us, our enemies will fry us, us for breakfast. breakfast. Lord, if you don't help us, us, our enemy will cook, cook us for dinner. Lord, if you don't help us, our enemies will use us and toast us for lunch. Lord, our help. Help the men of GFCC. Help the men of GFCC. Help the women of GFCC. Help the young men and young women of GFCC. Lord, help the women, help the girls. Of Jesus. Lord, help the businessmen and women. Help businesses sin. Yeah. Lift up your two hands. Say, let new businesses break out. So I, didn't, I told you I was not giving preaching. I was not giving teaching. I'm just giving a burden and a cry in my heart. I'm desperate for her. Sir, I'm desperate to see God lifting you, sir. That's the best. I'm desperate to see God raising somebody. I'm desperate to see God honoring somebody. Sir, I'm desperate to, to see, see God, God surprising, surprising somebody. somebody. I'm, I'm desperate, desperate to, to see God, God exceeding somebody's expectation. Sir, that is the help I'm looking for. When God helps you, that is the help I'm looking for. When God expands you, that is the help I'm looking for. When God answers your prayer, that is the help I'm looking for. In case you don't understand. I'm not asking God for the help to buy land in the Banana Island and build the mansion. That's not the help I'm asking God for. This morning I'm asking God lift somebody that you sent to me. Lord, raise another person. And for those you are raising, raise them again. Raise higher. Lift them higher. Make it prominent and undeniable. Undeniable that you are the helper. Uh, do re mi mi re mi do this is it re mi fa la so mi re so fa mi so re mi do ala mi re do I just feel like we could sing a song do re mi mi re mi Kalabashata Remi fala so mi Sola mi sore mi do Oh Oh Lord you are my I Lord, you are my Lord, you are my Let me hide in you forever. My soul thirsts for you. the eyes of servants of maids so my eyes kalabo shanda fralato mande prele katoma ziaknondo acts chapter 1 verse 4 to 8 just stay in the background that song at some moment i think it will pop up i just feel like just a little for you i just rest i just wait for you that's the only prayer i've been able to pray just waiting for you and just trusting you. And being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem. Why? Because help was coming. Why do people miss help? Departing without instruction. Yes, you and I, you, we know that help will come. Or will help meet you waiting. Or will help come you see, you can be helped to this state. But you feel you've gotten all the help. Whereas the helper and Dino were just planning to help. And by the time you step away, 
help arrived. I'm not meeting you waiting. And help failed. And heaven withdrew. How many failed helps are in the museum of heaven? And when we go, go to heaven, we shall see help that never helped. Wealth that never helped. Wisdom that never helped. Because there was scarcity of waiting. He told them, do not depart. Yes, I know you are in a hurry. I know you've been with me. I know you've seen me. You've heard me. I know you've touched me. You've eaten of the bread that was multiplied. I know you've paid tax from the money that came from a fish. I know you've seen me walk on the sea. And Peter experimented on walking on the sea also for about a few seconds. I know you know all of this. You know how Lazarus was raised. I know you know all of this. You've gone out also. You've seen how demons, how demons bet you because you mentioned my name, but don't depart. I'm still coming. I'm still coming. <laughs> and whatever you have seen is the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. So don't depart. I'm about doing something else, but the law of the, the protocol of divine help that will help you do the impossible, achieve the unachievable, attain the unattainable, and to see the invisible and touch the intangible. The protocol is in waiting because until the help comes, you are not ready. Don't depart. He commanded them, don't depart. Can I see the scripture? He said, do not depart from Jerusalem. There is a promise which I told you about. Help her. The help of God is coming. In verse 5. In verse 5. For John truly baptized with water. But shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Not many days from now. So wait. Wait. So I want to thank God that we waited in Yvonne Hall. And I want to bless every minister. Every servant. I want to bless our leaders. And thank God for Tobong is here today. This is very emotional for me. People will stand in the gap. Because a lot of people they are looking for me. They want to see me so that they will say what is on their mind. And when they came, they did not see me. They will see boys who are ready to die. Boys who, who will wait till the last moment to carry things. And in less than 15 minutes, we set up. And the next time they know I have come and we are praising the Lord. Even if it is one hour, we are waiting. That it is written in heaven that day. That the people, in spite of all things, waited. And God gave me instruction before I left Ibom Hall. He said, don't take one cobble in this place away in your account. Make sure you empty everything in your personal account into the work and bless people. The only thing I took away from Ibom Hall was Iyane. I wedded there. My daughter and my son that I dedicated there. God told me, let it be said, Anything that will be said, but don't, don't use one, one cover that, that came into, into your account, account on this place. Don't, don't use it for to buy matches. Let it all go. Go empty as you came. The only thing we took away the souls that God changed, the people that God delivered. Now I see some of our leaders, some ministers who are very prominent. They say, How long have you been? Say, Since 2018. I was there on the first day, 2017. I have been there in Ibom Hall. I thought you've been there in Ibom Hall. And they are becoming. And that's what we took away from that place. And we went there. A young woman stood there and gave testimony about the assignment. God's, and I used to tell people, God sent me there on assignment. I didn't have to go to Ibom Hall. God just wanted to give a difficult place that if it is difficult, are you going to wait? If it is challenging, are you, are you going, going to, to wait? wait? But, but those, those who wait, wait on, on the Lord, Lord shall renew their strength. Strength comes as help to those who can wait in the Lord. Wait on the Lord in the midst of adversity, in the midst of difficulty. I was not sent to preach today. Lord, I will wait again. When we came here, sometimes I get frustrated that you come, you expected to have hundreds of people seated for message. And you see few folks. I don't like to see few people in church. And you just see three, four, five people, they just sit. And now power, the cost of maintaining power in this place, we'll talk about it. It is not something we can even talk about. 
whether it's diesel or whatever, how do you have service for few people when you expect a large number of people? I'm talking about weekday program. On Sunday, people come. And all of that. So there has been a, a terrible attack on, on my passion. Cancel weekday thing. thing. People, people don't, don't come out. out. That is to say, don't wait again. You have arrived in Goshen. Now you are going to preach. You are going to preach when you see people. That's the attack I've been going through. Silently eating my spirit. I had to beg God, no. Don't let me live and see the day. I will now renegotiate my passion depending on the, the response of people. When you called me, how many people were there? When you spoke to me, who was there? And I swore to God, say, Lord, this season, I will wait. Sir, I've taken a decision, I will wait again. I will wait with 10 people who are willing to wait. How many people were there on the upper room when Jesus Christ told them, don't depart? They were the 11. And then some women and some of the disciples, the scripture said they all held steadfast in prayers. And then help came. I speak before God again. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait no matter who wants to. I will wait. Because I know when there is a waiting, there is a helping that is coming. I will wait. 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 This call will wait again. This year, more intentionally. The high cost of electricity, the high cost of transportation, the high cost of living. Sometimes bringing discouragement to the hearts because so many people are broken. And many people just feel like, okay, God is no longer relevant. And it's such a temptation to say, okay, don't trouble people. You go, why don't you just rest? <laughs> Lord, don't let me rest. Let me wait. I'll wait. I'll wait again. This week, intentionally, I will do what I said last year we'll be doing until Christ comes that in Grace Family, GFCC, we will wait in preparation for that day that the Holy Ghost came and visited weak men and women, discouraged people, and turned them into global influencers. Those who shook the world. I will wait because I know there is still somebody God will raise. I wait because I know there is somebody God has raised that God will raise higher. I will wait. Wait because I know there is a single God will prepare. I will wait. I wait because I know there is somebody who's been waiting for the fruit of the womb. That, that God is not going to just send an ordinary child. God is going to send the gifts. I will wait. I wait for business ideas will break out. I will wait. For in the waiting there is the helping. For in the waiting there is the making. That because in the waiting there is the purifying. Because in the waiting there is the keeping. There is the, the strengthening. When the ocean rides and sun rose, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are over the flood. I will be still and know you. God and I will be still and know do not depart from Jerusalem don't depart from prayers don't depart from studies as the times are hard and it's challenging don't depart from consecration. Don't depart from the gathering of the brethren. Don't depart from fellowship. Don't depart from his presence. Help will not come from a man. Help will not come from the seas. Help will come from above. What the sea has to give us is death. What calls has to give us is destruction. What Satan offers is corruption contamination 
and destruction of a future so that you may be help for a generation but generations will pay and pay and pay and not be able to pay for the help you received wait on the Lord yes you tell me you fasted you've prayed and you tell me you've been trusting wait again do not depart from Jerusalem. Lord GFCC will wait. Everyone who follows me in this call will wait. Even when it makes no sense. Because we know it's not over. It's not over. But wait. Wait this week intentionally with the singles. We'll wait with parents over their children. But wait with, bed, with singles over the, the future marriage so that people will not be in a haste and make me sick. Because there is a path that seemed right but at the end leads to destruction. Lord, we will wait. We will wait with business owners. We will wait. And in this time of uncertainty, we will wait. Oh, we will wait. We will wait. Just want you to lift up your two hands. If you agree with me, just say, Lord, I will wait again. I will wait until you give me help because the help of man is vain. The help of a brother does not take us far. The help of a father is not, is not skin, skin deep. Wait. Wait. Wait and trust you again. Wait. Wait. And wait and pray again. I wait. I wait and fast again. I wait. I wait and sing again. I was wait. I wait. I wait and repent again. I wait and work again. I wait and prepare again. I wait and learn what I need to learn. While I wait, Lord, I will train. While I wait, Lord, I will exercise. While I wait, Lord, I will, exercise. Lord, I will grow. While I wait, Lord, I will prepare. But, but I will wait for you because, because I know there's a time, a kairos. And suddenly, while they were waiting, the Holy Ghost came. I know we will wait. Because when we wait, suddenly, there will be another level. Suddenly, there will be a mighty move. Suddenly. I will be. I know. I go. And I will be still. I know my God. I will be seen. I just take some time out and just wait. And I will be still. Want, want you, you to, to make, make a commitment, commitment to yourself. yourself. Yes. Confused, but I will wait. Distracted. I will wait. I will still wait. I will pray. I will trust. I will wait. Lord, I will wait. You gave up us, gave us opportunity in Ibom Hall. We waited. And you showed us that those who wait shall renew their strength. I will wait. I will wait. I will wait. Don't let me be in a hurry. The serpent needs the wind. Oh Lord, my soul thirst for you. I'm a without living Jew. I'm a morning without you. 
I'm just a lonely afternoon Oh Lord, my soul thirsts for you Oh Lord, you are my shelter And Lord, you are my help Oh Lord, you are opportunity to wait thank you for all the challenging times that you sent to me and give me grace to wait give me grace that in the midst of all uncertainty that I will wait thank you for the difficult times there may times of misunderstanding in the Catholic Church but you didn't allow me to give up I kept waiting I kept doing things you permitted me to do. I kept gathering people and waiting. Thank you for those days in Ibom Hall from the 1st of September 2017 that we will wait amidst obstacles, amidst anger, amidst persecution, amidst spiritual attack. 
some time that the revival will come strong in the house and one attack will just come and everything will be scattered and then you didn't allow me to be discouraged you gave me grace and you gave me people who will wait with me and thank you that this new season of being in this place this place the constant attack on passion they need to adjust to accommodate human convenience the different narratives telling us it is not useful to wait. Thank you for visiting us, for encouraging us that we will wait again. We'll pay the price and wait again. But what I'm asking, Lord, please, as we wait, raise people. In this season of waiting, please let there be a new round of, wait, of lifting. Lord, let there be a new round of lifting. As we wait. Thank you. That in this season of waiting, let wombs that have been waiting for their own children. That young men and women have opportunity to be called mommy and daddy by the new ones. Give people the tears of joy in this wedding let our mature singles including those who may have made terrible mistakes in the past but who are now ready for marriage I'm not standing here because I've never made mistakes, I'm the one whom you have helped, help somebody else help this house thank you Lord that as we gather here from tomorrow in the afternoon into Saturday speaking into the family and anointing children and as we appear before you on Sunday to celebrate that day that suddenly the house of weak people was overtaken by fire and power and they emerge as global champions Lord let there be a sudden visitation a sudden visitation in offices in businesses in families in destinies in lives in marriages a sudden a sudden eye-opening experience of new visions, new ideas, new contacts, new opportunities. Oh Lord, let the new, the new level, let the doors of the next level help come. Let the, the door be opened. And let no one seek you in vain for your word says that you've not asked the sons of Jacob to seek you in vain. For ever, my soul thirsts for you. Maybe see that. <laughs>